Hey everybody, I'm Elena and today I will walk you through and talk through uh, this tutorial where I will be showing you how to pull off a really pull up together, put up together look, sorry, with just one eyeshadow, uh, applying it several different ways, just so you can really make the look look like uh, you have put so much effort into it but you are just using one single product and the rest of the look is gonna complement the eyeshadow which is this berry look so we're gonna go with mauve um, vintage pink looks dusty rose whatever you want to call it so i hope you guys enjoy the video and let's just begin shall we so let me just run for 30 seconds and i will just run right, jump right in I fell in love recently with combining this Rimmel BB cream with the True Match uh, powder from L'Oreal and it really gave me uh, this flawless look but I uh, started to notice uh, one breakout, two breakouts and now I guess you can see Welcome to Breakout Town. I have lots of small bubbly breakouts and this has nothing has changed in my routine or my diet uh, just the, the, the um, BB cream for, from Rimmel, so I guess I am a little bit allergic to it, so guess uh, what I won't be using anymore. So today I want to put to the test, um, I went to the store I have been hearing about for years, a couple years now I think, about this L'Oreal Infallible uh, foundation and I am a foundation junkie and um, there was a huge discount at my drugstore and this the packaging here in Spain and France is different but it's the same that the one that you have in the US and whatnot with a squeezy tube and there was a purchase but you had to reach a certain amount of money to um, get the major discount so I went up and dug through the rows of makeup and whatnot, and I came across this. Um, I'm gonna make a haul of the recent products that I purchased anyway. This uh, beautiful shadow, um, this beautiful shadow that's called Escape in Bordeaux uh, shade. That it that it didn't look like much, but uh, when I swatched it, it looked really beautiful, and this really triggered the idea in me that this could be a very uh, cool really really cool eyeshadow for wearing uh, uh, just uh, one eyeshadow look at least uh, I don't know for other eye colors but for brown eyed girls such as me this color this Bordeaux color is really complimentary and we're gonna work with that today so we're gonna put these two products to the test since today I don't want to be <clears throat> because I want to know the first impression of how it wears and what not the foundation I don't want to be interfering I just applied moisturizer and I will apply this Garnier um, optic eraser primer because this doesn't mattify or give glow or does nothing just it's to fill in the pores just like that and to show you different alternatives to the poor professional. So yeah, I at first I didn't even know that this was a primer to be honest with you guys. I it came in the um, in the they marketed it like a couple summers ago as a um, your face but better and uh, I thought this was like some kind of Oh, tinted whatever and when it came out it was like what and this is a primer so yeah uh, next I will prime my eyelids and to not get you bored with the same product that I'm trying to make a point to use up which is its shadow insurance today we'll go with this very trusted uh, eyeshadow primer that I discovered thanks to Emily Noel 83 83 sorry and it's this M Milani eyeshadow primer mine is number one nude and it's a really, really, really good primer. The downside of it, that <laughs> it's that they don't sell it here in Spain, so it's easier for me to get a hold of the shadow insurance. So uh, even though this is cheaper and it works just as well, I try, I tend to to keep it. I don't know to not spend it as much because it's not easy for me to reach for this so so today I will be color correcting a little bit with this Bobbi Brown and Bisque how I just 
just hit pen on this. Can you see? This is really sad. I really dig this product and oh, it's so expensive. Oh. <laughs> so, as you can see today, there's a lot of patches in my face. <laughs> Break it down, I back down, um, and dark circles, you know. I had like roughly four hours sleep because I was... Love matters. I will tell you on the regional geographic because here it's about beauty. So I will take my beauty blender mini and it's already dampened and you know the drill. So I don't know if you can see it guys in here, but today I'm gonna need the two concealers actually and I never use two concealers like barely ever ever but today it's a really really bad day so yeah I don't film just when I have good skin I <laughs> you see the real life in here so let's go check what the what this is all about on pump and the beauty blender and let's blend in so far it's a good match it's a good match I'm glad they didn't mess up so yeah, this guy, I'm not gonna bore you with that in here, but you have to check out the original geographics, oh god. is the only person in this world who can trigger an anxiety attack in me. It's that intense. So from what I'm seeing, this foundation, I thought it was more matte. I wanted a dewy foundation, but re this really is dewier than the true match actually oh wow so it doesn't have that much coverage i think the i i didn't take the matte one because i didn't want a matte matte finish but this is not as full coverage as the true match i actually for some reason i thought infallible would be would have more coverage than the true match you know i thought the true match was more natural so i'll go for another half pump of it and hope for the best. And you know what? I'm gonna just apply it on my hand and I will apply it on the places that I think I need more coverage with the Beauty Blender because I am getting some major sunspots and this is... you know, my family has a lot of sun allergies and we get lots of sunspots and... Dude, this is the first time in a long time that I apply two pumps, full pumps of one foundation into my face. I always go with one pump and roll with it and the cap, the cap fell off. Today I need the other concealer so we'll go with... I will try this because I have the ivory one and it's pinkier and it's really good for con um, concealing my dark under eye circles but today I will try the natural one because I will go on top of the foundation and we'll hope for the best. So yeah, between the allergies and the lack of sleep, uh, my eye bags are getting terrible and they at me lots, lots of years. You know, the other day I was walking with my nephew and they thought it was my son. He was my son. So yeah, this makes me look older and I don't like it. Next, I will, today I will, I want to see how this performs throughout the day, so I will I will set it just ever so slightly later, but just the fairest amount. And now I really will set this huge amount of concealer that I never use this much with this Essence Fix and Matte uh, that I didn't show you. <laughs> um, translucent powder. Moving on to the brows. I haven't prepared this. Yeah, I am so cool. I will... Um, I will be using today, um, I'll be using again this one, which is Maybelline Brow Satin, and, and you guys, this is to you. Lately I am missing your comments on my videos and I really like them, I, I really like to read and to get to know about you and hear some insight about you, your opinions, your intake on what I do, so don't hesitate, say whatever down below, let's continue. Done. Now I will move on because I don't want to bore you with the benefit high brow. I will go, I will use uh, NYX Milk, and uh, I will hear a lot of people saying you're not supposed to apply white. 
well, if you shear out, it doesn't look white, okay? It's, it looks, I could use this Continuous Almond from Jordana, but I really choose to use this one and I am making a point to use it up, so. And next, uh, we will move on to the star of the show, which is this L'Oreal in uh, 301 Scaping Bordeaux. And first things first, uh, we'll see. I will uh, apply the first layer, not charging the brush a lot with a flat brush, on the mobile eyelid. So let's just see. So, so far this shadow that really applied really beautiful on the swatch and whatnot, it's just applying quite a bit patchy on the lids. I don't know if it's a brush, so I will change to another brush. And next, I will take this lented brush and I will apply on the outer third and a little bit up the crease. Okay, stop. This eyeshadow swatched beautifully. Okay, now let's see this. I don't know if it was an overspray or what, but see it. Watch this. And this beautiful sheen. And I have to say, so far it's not packing up good. It's applying blotchy. And I don't know what's going on, but I'm not getting uh, a good vibe of it, so. Okay, next I will take a fat rounded brush, a crease brush, and I will blend it in, everything. Okay, so this for a daytime it would be a good look, but I really wanted to show up more this eyeshadow, so I'm gonna try to take this flat, uh, small detail shader brush and uh, try to pack it up a little bit more just to see how it performs. Okay, now we're talking, but still, it's sheer, if you can see. Now, look, my clean finger, look at the swatch. Boom. Where's that? Where's that, L'Oreal? I will try to pack it up a little bit more with the finger. Now I'm getting the effect that I wanted, just a very faded from really potent, close to the lash line, uh, to really fade it away into nothing, so just so we could smoke the eye and make a really beautiful eye uh, look with just one eyeshadow, and now it's showing up and it's looking beautiful. Finally! Can you see? Now it's beautiful. Now it is what I had in mind when uh, I got this yesterday, that you could really pull off a look with this eyeshadow, really beautiful smoked out look and wearable for the day and yeah, it finally worked. It took a little bit longer, but it finally, it finally worked. Uh, I will move on with this um, smudger brush that I will use to apply a same eyeshadow just on the lower lash line. We did it! <laughs> now I'm gonna move on to this Essence Eye Pencil in Long Lasting. Um, it's Berry Merry and it's this retractable one and I will just uh, draw, I wouldn't need to, if you can totally skip the step, but I will just for fun uh, apply it on the upper lid, upper lash line without winging or anything, just a simple la line. Good, we're getting there. <laughs> now I will move on to NYX Wonder Pencil and uh, Light and I will line my waterline. And now I will apply a couple of coats of this false, uh, this Sculpt Butterfly Sculpt Mascara. So I guess this look, when once you get a hold of this eyeshadow, it's really fast to do. But today I was really testing it on camera and this is why it took longer. But yeah, one eyeshadow is really fast to do, so it's really applying really heavy and smoking it out. But, ooh, <laughs> stay tuned. And uh, I will continue applying. Since today I'm going with this uh, Berry Mauve shades, I will apply this uh, because I don't have... If you have um, Benefit Dallas, that's the kind of blush I am rooting for today. So today I'm going with this Aster Brown Berry. Next I will uh, take NYC in Sunny 
and I will slightly uh, bronze, a sli uh, bronze a slight contour my face. And last but not least, I will go for this highlighter, which is Essence Hello, Hello Autumn, Autumn in the City, and the City. And I will apply it with this Zoeva highlighter brush. Second to last, I will apply, I will line my lips with this Essence Lip Liner in Satin Mauve, any mauve color will do. And last but not least, I will apply uh, this Rimmel Vintage Pink uh, Lipstick in 180. And this color is really on trend now. It's this dusty rose, this mauve pink, pinkish look, pinkish lip and color and whatnot. It's really on trend this spring, summer and whatnot. And it also is really complementary with these berry eyes, so there's that. So there you go, here is the final look. Uh, it took me a little bit longer because I never tested that eyeshadow. Maybe I should have tested it off camera. Same thing with the foundation, but we really pulled it off. And I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you did, give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe down below. It helps me a lot. And leave a comment because I really like to get to know you and, you know, hear your opinions and whatnot. So I hope you have a great day and see you in the next one. Bye!